in the uh, basket, they don't have the disadvantage of having, uh, let's say, uh, the body larger. size. Yeah, yeah, larger. Because of, oh, you're talking about Colombia. Yeah. Okay. Com just compared. Yes. Because we saw Colombia dealing pretty well with the current uh, game. And, uh, yeah. oh, okay, let's go. Game is started. The game. Please, Thank the you. technique. Okay, thanks. Okay, and Karen and White. Uh, Karen from Norway against uh, Langen from Germany in blue. And we have a current in ball possession and uh, stopped in the middle of the pool by the lung and forechecking very well done uh, the forechecking immediately at the ball carrier that's what they need to stop these fast counter attacks from akaren uh, nevertheless we are already in the corner of uh, the lung and basket and from here akaren slowly is building up their momentum around the lung and basket um let me see we have now um, the German team trying to de defend the three uh, white players from uh, Akaren trying to attack by being pulled away and up. Um, both teams need to be very, very, very much aware of what they do because any small mistake is going to be paid uh, highly. They are in the corner now trying to come as one Akaren player trying to attack being tackled away. And uh, they're still now trying to go a little bit on to the, the middle and, and about three meters away from their uh, goal. What they're is, fighting what is, on the surface. What yes. is very good, what you see from Langen here, they don't allow a current to play their game around their basket. And they stole the basket, uh, the, the ball away from there. We have now a fast counter attack from two Langen players. Three. Going three now on the other side, going forward. And uh, that was a nice pass over there to the open side, uh, to the close side. And uh, sadly, there was not another player from Langen waiting there to receive it. But uh, still, Langen is at the basket of uh, the Norwegian team and pushing hard into the defense. Well done. Well, they broke free of the attack uh, of uh, Norway was pushing without ball. And we have a free throw against uh, Langen, which uh, is hurtful for them because they worked so hard to bring the ball on the other side of the pool. And now they lost it without any um, um, fight because uh, Akaren has uh, the free throw in their favor. Number 16, Ayrin Rolson received the ball here in number seven going forward. Very deadly swimming around uh, the basket passing to the open side play with oh the goal. goal that was a mistake nice in the change play. of the goalie i just saw that it nice was a gap but i did not see that the current was on the other side i was about to say well that was a very gap that's uh, I didn't such see a who bit. Okay. received the pass but uh, very deadly uh, passed from the open side into the defense that was very well played and a quick uh, goal in the first minutes here of uh, this game so now we have i mean still langen has um looked like number four not sure still time to recover this is the beginning of the first half but this is uh but it's a painful start it's yes. a painful start for to receive a goal so early because of a mistake because in the beginning of the game you should be awake and should be uh, um um it, it was no, but it was a great goal. It was a very yes, good. It's typical from well McLaren. I mean, how they attack, yeah. always coming I, two or three. I'm just saying, as a team, you, you yeah. feel something went wrong in that moment, and that, that's. But Langen is uh, um, uh, experienced enough to work with that and to break out again and score by themselves. So we have uh, 11, so, more than 11 minutes left in this first half here. So Akaren is coming with attack one after the other and uh, Langen is now a little bit more in control of the attacks but was risky again for a minute there and let's see if the forwards can keep the players of the Norwegian team a little bit farther away not so close to the goalie everyone is going up ball is in the hands of the German team and Martin just received the pass and is trying to swim a counter attack was intercepted sadly but uh, Langen is still in possession of the ball is trying to find the next player to pass but the occurrence are really amazing they're on the ball on the player every second and Martin again back received the pass from Heike and it's now a counter attack a against, against two. two Martin is one of the best players and also uh, is very well um, to convert goals but she was alone against two 
And now uh, Karen just received. Let's see uh, if the team of uh, Langen can swim back on time to stop uh, the attack. Of that, the was, white team. that was a nice <sighs> counter uh, swim, but uh, sadly, uh, Langen players lost the ball already. We are back very fast at the Langen uh, basket. The forechecking defense didn't stop that much of the momentum. The current players put into another, another goal. Another goal, number 13. The, I uh, mean, this is uh, from it above. Buried, the sadly, I think. Buried, yeah, I think so. We're talking, no, uh, sorry, the 13 was a seal. And I think the first one is it was buried, Miot. I mean, because I we couldn't see no, it was too. passed uh, uh, the ball. But the first top goal. Yeah, I mean, but she passed yes. it. She didn't make okay. it. Okay. As far as I saw. Well, it's two goal. I think it's going to be timeout for the German team or who so else? So it's a two-zero after uh, five, five and a half minutes, minutes um, in the first half, and uh, Langen took a timeout. They have been overrun uh, here yes. with the first goal. And lost a little bit of their concentration of their like. Uh, um, they were very well in position at the beginning, but you know they they swim the counter, and they were in the process of attacking, and then they lost the ball. And Akaren, they are so. I mean, this is one of the things they can do best: counter attack and attack. And the team returned pretty much on time, but they were not really safe, really stable at the back, and um, they attack from above. I mean, uh, the Norwegian girls always do that, come from above, try, and if they cannot manage, they pass right or left, and they, I mean, they, they, they still manage to, to score from above, but most really uh, a well, very a well very executed. executed. Yep, um, definitely. And I'd say uh, Akaren is uh, the, the concentration of Akaren. You can almost see their focus uh, in the water, how they... Uh, play together as team and with the uh, lung in there a little bit like uh, um, not on the same focus as Akaran as I have the, the feeling as, I, as it looks like Langen is a very strong team and they had two chances uh, already with uh, attacking the basket but uh, quickly lost the ball at the Akaran uh, defense and uh, the counter attacks uh, from Akaran are which we seem brutal and fast Okay, let's see. Now, uh, Langen is uh, trying to get to the um, basket well of Well done Akaren. here by Langen. Well, Nicely passes. played through the forechecking defense in the middle of the pool. They're coming over the close side, trying to pass the defense, the long arms and the long leg legs of the Norwegian players. And... Uh, they're still in the corner, they're passing, they're still in possession of the ball, they're still attacking, and uh, the ball uh, was almost lost, but recovered by one of the players of the German team. Couldn't see who, and uh, now we have, uh, I think it's... Steffi was swimming towards, try to attack, and up. Oh, is this is a chance they pulled up. Maren at the ball, was pulling the up the goalie stolen. and couldn't pass it down. It's a pity because one of the players had stolen the basket, and for a minute there, there was uh, no goalie on the Akaren uh, team. Now that uh, could have been a chance for Langen here. Heike uh, receiving the, the pass, the trying the to go on the side, waiting for. There was some exchange of some players, and now pass it to uh, Steffi uh, Nusa and now to back to the next one to Simone and now I think it's Anna the one Kathy sorry mm. Simone trying to recover the ball fell but uh, Heike re uh, recovered it and is swimming Seven towards and a half the corner minutes left in the first half I mean, Akaren is, is now a little bit more, they're still disrupting the attack, but since Langen is quite away, they are letting them come because they already have two goals, yeah. so they don't need to exhaust themselves more. They're, they're, this is what the Scandinavians do best, just wait for the uh, opponent they, to attack, till, yes, to come, recover yes. the ball in the defense area, and then counter-attack. It's a very self-confident play, yes, we say here. Yes, it's very... Uh, concerning their uh, confidence in their uh, capabilities and their confidence in a 2-0 lead. Uh, thank you, Amanda. So probably Cecile did both goals. I couldn't see the first one because she, it was everything very much hidden. Lang is still in ball possession um, and uh, time to time uh, attacks by Akaren to steal the ball, to get the ball away. 
but uh, altogether, Akaran waits for Langen to make the mistake to break through again. And uh, Langen really has to go into the basket and really push hard like they do now. But it's only one player against three players from Akaren. Nicely played on the close side. Uh, the player from Langen just pushed the ball on the other side and the Langen player took it. But uh, a little bit too long. There was already uh, players. Oh, oh this is no, a good Steffi chance. Steffi is now on the goal. He's trying to pull her up. And, and I think Martin is there trying to help her on the close side, but uh, they were well defended and well tackled away. Yes, and uh, the, the goalies for Akaren were in, on the way to exchange, so the goalie coming down pushed her teammate on the basket until the danger was over, and then she, they changed. This is team play, uh, the high Martin level. Martin is now again trying to pull up the goalie, couldn't make it, she was pulled up too quickly. And the ball is still in the hands of the German team trying to attack over the middle now passing on the open side. But uh, they withdraw a bit. Marin again got the ball and is trying to attack from above to the goalie. But it's being stopped by another of the forwards. Now number 19 from uh, Akaren just got uh, the ball is trying. And uh, Akaren in ball possession uh and here the player with the number four just pushed the ball up to herself because there was no other PlayStation. Oh, ball is dropping down. The uh, current Great player lost recovery. it. You don't Kati see that very often. It. And uh, Kati from uh, the German team uh, succeeded in uh, saving the ball. And we go now. And Kathy now receive the pass. Pass it to oh. Marin. Marin just sold the basket, but the ball she didn't see did it. not she didn't, reach her. It wasn't that was to be pushed. yeah, no, it was like a stop by one of the fiends. I mean, the the flow with the pass. That's a pity. Also, this is uh, even though Akaran is leading with a two series, it's a really exciting game because we see a great performance by Langen, who uh, pushing really hard. But uh, there are chances they couldn't use the two, three chances they already had yeah. and uh, score because, here. No. Oh, great. I think it's Petra that received the ball and is trying to swim away. Now, uh, Simone received the pass and is trying to go past the middle. Steffi is just next to her trying to wait for the pass, but the ball is being blocked by the uh, academy player. Nevertheless, wow. they can continue swimming. Great job from Simone that, is, you know, keep the ball and now pass it farther to Stephanie that is fighting against two now I think it's Mike trying to yeah uh, attack but uh, it's been tackled I mean every play is been tackled there's a lot of chaos right now in the basket of Akaren and we have a still uh, Langen team trying attacking constantly the ball is still in possession uh, of the um, of the blue team and down in the corner a bit farther away and that pass was intercepted oh. and lost and now it's a counter attack and this is this is dangerous this is just one a current player against the goalie that just made it oh. and great and great recovery from the current player into the arms of a, a Langen player right in front of the basket but then it was saved by another current player coming from back it's uh, very it's a fast back and game. forth yes it's a nice game to watch. This is underwater rugby on the high level, and both teams uh, really are up for it. They are getting into their each other's rhythm, and it's uh, beautiful to see. We don't have uh, many clusters, but we see a lot of free-flowing uh, ball movements and uh, uh, swim movements. So this is beautiful rugby to watch. Ball is free again here. Lange player on the surface looks like Carti going up, passing down. And uh, Langen is working forward. And here we go. This is uh, Marin again. Trying to push into the defense. But Akaren's forechecking stopped them. Now Langen is really now being very consequent in the attack. I mean, it's very much in the offensive. I mean, like, it's already 2-0. What else can go wrong? Yes, they, they need to really put everything there. Uh, they had still, their chances. It's yes, not like no, no, you, no. you can see it. It's not impossible for them to score. They had two, three chances um, uh, some minutes ago. But again, I lost the ball. And this is the dangerous uh, moment when Akaran is going for their concentrated, coordinated uh, counterattacks. And they are already through going for the German basket. But the forechecking right in front of the basket for Lang is pretty tight. So it's difficult for Akaren just to break through. 
So well now done. we have, yep. They're trying to position, they're attacking, but they're not attacking as uh, uh, aggressive like they did at the beginning when they really wanted to score. Right now, I think they want to be also in control of the ball and not lose it because they see also that uh, Germany can be very dangerous in a counter attack as well. And they're a bit more cautious, which it has a lot of sense. And time is working for Akaren here right now, the, yes. to the first half, to the break, to, into the first half. So they just need to control the ball in the next minute and they can recover in the, uh, the break and then start the second half with the 2-0 lead um, and just um, secure their own basket without the need to prove how to win this game because they are already leading. 14, 40 seconds left. Then Langen recover the ball. Is trying to swim a counter attack. They are a bit in the surface, which it makes it difficult to really progress to the other side. And it's 27 seconds Call left. The there is a referee. There's something from the surface. Uh, we have really. Uh, can someone go and tell these people to move from the camera? So it's a free throw, but it's too little time to execute it. Six seconds left, and uh, let's see. And end that's of the, the first end of half. the So 2 0 for Akaren. I mean, two very well uh, executed uh, goals. And Germany then start being very, very aggressive uh, in the second half. And they had good chances, but Akaren was so uh, well defended. I mean, they were stopping continuously and disrupting. And um, and Akaren really played it cool because they, they saved uh, it. And even when there was this heavy attack on the goalkeeper, the release uh, goalkeeper pressed the other one down on the basket. And they only changed when the danger was over. So this is... This is the, the self-confidence in your game, in your teammates. You know, you even if you should change, you push your goal, uh, uh, goalie partner down in the, in the goal and you know he will stay and uh, she will stay and uh, um, save the moment. So this was great team effort. Willst du kurz was auf Deutsch sagen für unsere deutsche... Gute Idee. Um, für alle deutschen Zuschauer hier an uh, den heimischen Geräten, mobil oder vielleicht auch im... Uh, im äh, Public Viewing, ähm, gibt uns mal ein bisschen Informationen, von wo ihr zuschaut. Ähm, für die zweite Hälfte wird Verlangen äh, hart werden, da sie äh, 2-0 im Rückstand sind. Jetzt müssen sie quasi alles nach vorne werfen, ähm, um äh, auszugleichen, um Tore zu machen und dabei vielleicht auch riskieren, ein, ein nächstes Tor zu, zu äh, fangen, weil äh, gegen ein Team wie Akaren kann man nur mit massiven Zusammenspiel reingehen, so wie wir das in der ersten Hälfte zwei, drei Mal gesehen haben, als äh, die Akaren-Spieler in dem einen Moment äh, nicht mehr anders sich wehren konnten, als ihre eigenen Spieler aufs Tor zu drücken, ähm, um zu verhindern, dass sie hochgehoben werden. Ähm, und dafür muss man wirklich massiv reingehen, um solche Angriffe aufzuhalten. Insgesamt ein großartiges Spiel von zwei Mannschaften, die auf Augenhöhe sind. Ähm, bisher konnte Akaren die Chancen, die sie hatten, sofort umsetzen. Langen hatte die gleich, hatte ähnliche Chancen, aber konnte sie nicht verwandeln. Ähm, in dem Moment ist es einfach, äh, man weiß es nicht, eine mentale Sache. Es ist äh, eine Teamsache. Es war schade, man hat gesehen, dass äh, Langen diese, diese Chancen wirklich rausgespielt hatte und dass sie ähm, nahe dran waren. Aber es hat im letzten Moment nicht funktioniert. Bei Akaren hat es funktioniert. Und äh, jetzt haben wir die nächsten 15 Minuten hat Langen die Chance. There's still the possibility, I mean, there's two goals, it's not Absolute. impossible, but at this level, two goals, yeah. it is work. And for above all, what is important is that these two goals don't wait too much in the head, that they eventually, yeah. uh, I don't know, the frustration or the motivation, the you know, Was Lorena gerade no sagt, mit dem 2-0 Rückstand ist es auch mental schwierig, in das Spiel jetzt reinzugehen, in die zweite Hälfte. Und... Uh, man könnte jetzt sagen, gut, Langen könnte Akarin zwingend Fehler zu machen, aber ein eingespieltes, abgebrühtes Team wie Akarin in den äh, Strafstöße zu zwingen oder äh, den verklemmenden Korb rauszufordern, 
ist fast unmöglich. Sie spielen einfach zu gut, um das als gegnerische Mannschaft zu erzwingen hier. Ähm, und es wird sehr schwierig, weil Ackerer natürlich auch weiß, wo sie wissen, wo sie jetzt gerade stehen, da sie die zweite Hälfte Runde spielen können. Ballkontrolle und hinten dicht machen, die eigene Verteidigung steht ähm, und dann sind sie locker ähm, durch die zweite Hälfte und haben das Spiel 2-0 gewonnen. Also Langen muss jetzt wirklich mit allem, was sie haben, angreifen und nach vorne gehen. Are we just repeating in German or Wolf was repeating in German what we pretty much said in English? I mean, so don't feel yeah. that you are I, missing out. I was not out, telling a secret uh, strategy <laughs> of, of the course, German team. Of course, you were, you were. I hear it. Sí, para los chicos, para la gente colombiana que están preguntando, esta es la final femenina. El que gane, por supuesto, va a ser el campeón de la Champions Cup. Y luego viene la final masculina de Orcas contra Malch. Jugaron la semifinal hoy a la mañana. Malch contra Molde, ganó 1 a 0 el equipo alemán. Y luego Orcas masculino contra Gemelina Zuketayat, que eh, también ganó 2 a 0. Y Molde ganó el tercer puesto en la semifinal, bueno, en la final antes de este partido. Y luego a las 3 y cuarto será la final masculina de Orcas contra Malch. Any questions? How is the audience doing? We have a post here from Peter Rossmann. Uh, Maike und Maren, hau das Ding rein. Na, mal sehen, was sie in der zweiten Hälfte machen. Schön gespielt hier von Akaren, dieses Anschwimmen. That was nicely done, that beginning. And that is really dangerous if you let Akaren break through Please right change in the, the build. beginning. Thank you. Sorry, yeah. Ah, but uh, we recovered by Langen. We didn't see how it happened, but uh, well played. And uh, this is how Langen has to go. Forward Langen, if you want to challenge Akaren here in the next 15 minutes. Go forward and push hard with all you have uh, into the Akaren basket, which is a really a uh, challenge because uh, Akaren is, uh, is, is, is really saving their own basket, really defending very well. And this is uh, Steffi waiting. Uh, she's blocking the defense position under the Akaren basket, but didn't receive the ball. And Katisha missed the pass and Ria is trying to recover it to pass it back. Now Kati just oh, recovered nicely. the ball and is about to pass it, I think, to Maren. Maren is now fighting against two and trying to find someone to pass the ball farther. And it's Ria and Denise. She couldn't get because two of the current players are blocking uh, and just really holding on to the ball. Uh, now the ball is in position of a Karen that is in a counter attack and they need to oh. hurry up. This is almost oh. just one. The goalie didn't make it on time and that there was, was a gap on the back. Amazing of the goal head. by the current player who came in really fast and put the ball behind the head of the goalkeeper. Although there were two Langen players, but uh, somehow they blocked each other and the goalkeeper was not lying properly on the basket. And uh, very well done by Akar in here. The player didn't stop and she put the ball Th right behind the This is the thing the when you are, you know, too much concentrated in the offensive, then, then the Norwegian team are so, so dangerous uh, with the counter attack. You know, the, the team needs to change and they switch quickly enough, but the, the, the goalie didn't make it to really lay with all the back on the goalie. And these Akarin girls have arms like octopuses. I mean, they're so long, you know, the legs and the arms. Um, let's see. That Here. was really tight, and uh, it, it's hard to say what could have been done better in that right moment. Um, but uh, the two players there defending uh, could have saved it, but uh, it's so dangerous uh, against Akkad and players. Uh, the way, the coolness they play, the confidence they play is just... Uh, Pretty amazing here in this moment. 3-0 lead for Akaren in the final of the women. Akaren from Norway in white against uh, UC Langen from Germany. Sadly, it's a bit like a deja vu of the final of the World Cup in Graz. Let's see. Um, remember, Norway won the World Cup and a lot of the players of Akaren uh, are of the national team. Dear audience, Norway. do you know how many players of the uh, Akaren I, I team are in the national team? I think 80%, I would say. Amanda, tell us, please. So, yes, Amanda Barson, if you're watching, how many players, if you know, are uh, um, including you or except you, you're not playing right now, but how many are in the national team of Norway playing in the Akaren team? I think yesterday you told us for Langen, it, it's about eight players. From all the new, from the new, yeah. I mean, from the one, the active one, let's say like this, 
uh, is for right now. Nice okay. attacks here again by Akaren. And you see them, their, their move is always forward into the gaps. It's never the hesitation. And as soon as there's a mistake by the defense, the current players use it and push into these gaps, but nicely intercepted. I think it's a uh, Kati here yes. uh, with the number, uh, which is the number two? Number 15. Is, number 15. Now Maren just got the pass and, and just hey, there was, she ball. was in hole and she almost... <laughs> Uh, she really looked through the eyes of the referee because she really made an auto pass. She just threw the ball in front so she could be, you know, lose and continue swimming, but she was held back. So this could and the be referee didn't call yeah. it until she really looked at him and just, you know. Uh, this could be a strategic uh, 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 fall play just to stop yes, this player who was pushing I, through. Yeah, I would do it too, to be honest. I mean, just risking a, a free throw against you is, nothing, uh, is yeah. worth it. So, and, uh, and almost, if, if Madame would have, have protested right in front of the referee, probably wouldn't have really called it. I don't know why. Anyway, we're in the corner. Akaren just recovered the ball, and um, they are starting the counter-attack. But uh, they are being stopped and intercepted by uh, some of the players of Langen. Nevertheless, two, three, four are coming, and two are around the knees, one in position of the Marla almost, oh, but recovered by uh, that uh, Anna. And um, now who is having... Steffi has the ball, but could not pass it to anybody, and was blocked from both sides from the academy players, and now trying to attack from above, going over the close side. And... Um, the next player from Akaren received the pass. Three of them are coming all together. One is even in between, uh, or was above the goalie. And I can see the balls, a lot of bubbles there. And um, the next Akaren player, Cecile, she got the ball and is trying to attack from above, but it's been tackled away by, uh, couldn't see, I think Steffi. And now, uh, Number four, it's coming that uh, Tobe Margarete pass it farther and counter attack from Kati Bello uh, that was being stopped by two players. And now the next uh, Langen player got the ball, trying to pass on the back to the next but German the player. Here of it's really making it very. Oh, thank you, Amanda. Two seconds given. Um, Akaren is really fighting in every centimeter. Inch, yes. So now it's a counter attack from Akaren. It's eight minutes or so half time from the second time in a 3 0, and it's getting complicated for Germany to recover this game. And now Akaren is attacking again consistently with three players. It's really uh, the discipline and the, the constants they have. It's really. Um, Impressive. Now, um, great recovery by I couldn't see um, who was that player. And counter attack from Mara was quite quick, but it was very well intercepted by the captain. Um, and uh, now they are in front of the goal of Akaren, who received the ball right now. Number four, I think, is uh, Anna. And uh, now trying to pass it to. Attack from above, pushed up by the foot. We have a Julia. message from uh, Amanda. So uh, w almost 11 players of the players in the water are national team okay. members. So it's uh, mostly the national team we see here in the water, the female national team from Norway. Fast counter attack. Thank you so much. Quick one-on-one okay. -on -one situation. And Did no, it, it, it wasn't a goal very w well uh, intercept fought the ball, off. Yes. Yeah, in the last second. Very well done. There was an uh, almost, and I almost dreamed a uh, goal another but uh, yeah. very well intercepted. So the next player is positioned underneath, but she left. The, it was taken too long. Great interception by uh, Steffi. And uh, she was stopped, but she does not have someone that she can pass the ball. This this is the moment where you cannot take this long, but well, what, I mean, what you, it's a lot of stressful game. I mean, I, I can imagine that uh, they are short breath. And uh, let's see, Marian just got the ball and Steffi saw the opportunity to seal the basket and it's lying there, but uh, it's taking too long. And uh, there was a good opportunity if uh, enough Langen players would have uh, 
played forward. And now we have two Langen players but going in a little bit slowly. A lot of uh, oh, Karine, German perfect. presence under the Norwegian basket, but uh, resolved by Akaren uh, by stealing the ball out of the hands of uh, the German players and pushing forward. So no danger for the uh, Norwegian basket. Uh, I'm speechless. We have three Akarians playing and oh, one attack from the almost, side. The ball just passed was, on the other was side. It was very tight, again. very close. Uh, this is the fourth time that I'm doing this, or, or the third time that I'm from above. And um, the, the forwards from Langen need to help there a little bit more. I know it's difficult because they cannot be everywhere. But three goals have been, two goals have been scored like that. And it's... So dangerous, but anyway, 3-0, 4-0, I mean, it's Five just... Five minutes left, uh, another attack from Akaren, uh, from the, the player is almost undisturbed. And Kati just went and wrapped from the... What happened? Penalty. Penalty. Why oh, penalty? Okay. Holding of the basket or uh, shoulder in the basket. I, I didn't see that because the, 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 the goalie I. went up and Kati went underneath to cover and to wrap herself but around to stop the ball. Because the, okay. the player from Norway tried to push up yeah, the goalie and, and maybe move. she was uh, yeah. holding onto the basket. Yes, yes, I didn't yes. see no, I'm uh, not saying it's not. I, I, I'm time saying I didn't from, see it. Uh, Norway, but I no, think... Langen. Yeah, but uh, Akaren is doing the timeout sign. I know, but Langen asked yes, it. So they are they giving it to for. Langen, so they... Oh, that's a... Uh, 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 how do you say? Uh, not a nice situation for Langen in so this moment. Amanda and Karin, I need to change the information. And they're saying that seven players uh, were in Graz this year. So it's a big amount. Uh, and they are the world champions. They won, so... Uh, that's the game. I mean, it's, we are seeing we just saw a few months ago in Graz. Uh, so it's a really fast game, and um, the only thing I can say is really Norway has been con more consistent when they attack. They come with three most of the time, and that's really very impressive to see. And Lange has got moments where they attack really, really well, but. They have sometimes a lot of, you know, they break yeah. the attack at, until they regroup and then go again. You, and, can, you uh, can almost say uh, in the moments of attack, Akaren are like, a, it's like machine-like, the, mm. the consistency they, they look attack. actually like Akarens, you know, when, when because Akaren are, um, how was squids. it, yes, squids, right? And they look like squids when they when they swim together. Yes. Three. It's yeah. really Funny because, yeah, penalty, and here we okay. go. Who is uh, holding? Kathy is holding and uh, number uh, Lisbeth Hauksvall oh. and goal. Very well done behind uh, the back. A lot of movement and uh, you get hold of the goalkeeper and then uh, turn as much as soon as the goalkeeper doesn't know where the ball is. You have, uh, like uh, um, she did right now, have a free hand just to put the ball in the basket very well done so we have a 4-0 and less than five minutes left it's uh, it's a tough challenge now for Langen to turn this game around I think it's uh, I would say nothing is impossible yeah never say never but it's extremely 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 difficult they should be doing one goal per minute and I don't see that happening let's see so, Steff is in position of the ball being stopped by one of the defenders uh, now they are moving around three meters away from Maren was on the other side. I think she got the ball, but uh, could not really mm, attack because she was being intercepted by one of the forwards of uh, the Norwegian team. And they're coming over the close corner. Next player, Ria, is bringing the ball to the other side, passing it to Steffi. Steffi is coming toward, pass it down uh, to uh, Janine. Yep. And now... They're still going around, going around um, and trying to find a gap, but it's difficult because it's very crowded there at the goalie and uh, just a current recover the ball and it's trying to start a counter attack again. Yep. At this point of the game, uh, I think, like we said, it's, it's hard for Langen to turn this game around, but at least you want to show you can score. So Langen... Uh, uh, I guess they, they have to want to prove by themselves they are able to score against Akaren and they should uh, throw 
more force forward and risk to catch another goal because it's uh, if you lose uh, like again and again we say the same if you lose a 5-0 or a 6-0 um, it doesn't change uh, the game and this is chance two Langen players against three Akaren players but not precise enough uh, the ball carrier Maren I guess was swimming out of the the defense area um, Yes, now, I mean, I'm with you, uh, Melina, they need to go with everybody, everybody, I mean, they shouldn't, <clears throat> they will have, you know, no one at the back, actually, because it's a 4-0, okay, just almost uh, another attack of the um, white team, and... Uh, Let's see, it's just less than two minutes. Or yeah. another chance. Uh, the number 22, I didn't see it right, was pushing against the goalkeeper, trying to lift her up. And the time is ticking. Uh, one minute 45 left. And uh, Langen is defending their goal with their teeth. We have a cluster now on the surface, fighting around the ball. And uh, Akaren players are breaking free with the ball. It's really close qualified here, and uh, Langen is uh, using every inch. Oh, nicely intercepted by the number 10 here from uh, Akaren. This is, uh, yeah, and Akaren continues pressuring and attacking and coming from above and passing to the next player on Langen the side. Langen really is throwing really in all their weight, but uh, Akaren plays cooler, is, is more in concentration it's like a and another, another goal. goal yes yes that's 5-0 for a Karen the goalie was left alone from the close side um, the, she was pulled up and uh, a score um, did any of the uh, Norwegians recognize who was the play on the other side uh, but that's that's uh, uh, the dominance you show when you when you are in this part point of the the game exhaustion comes in and everything but you play cool you play on the top level and uh, it's an impressive game here by Akaren against a strong Langen team yes it's the fifth time that Akaren won the Champions Cup and it's the only team that has won it so many times And that's the end, 5-0 for Akaren. Congratulations. Congratulations to Akaren. Uh, amazing the job. new and the old Champions Cup champion uh, for the female teams.